Hi everyone and welcome to my channel English Fluency Lab where I help you improve your English language skills. Friends in this video I am going to talk to you about the difference between the two words hopefully and thankfully. So let's get started right away. First of all let us understand the usage of these two words. You can say hopefully about something you want to happen but you do not know if it will happen or not. Now that's very important. You can say or use hopefully about something you want to happen but you are not sure if it will happen or not. Say thankfully about an established fact. Both hopefully and thankfully can be used in the past, present or future. But thankfully is about confirmed facts and hopefully is about unconfirmed facts. Now friends that is very important. Please remember that thankfully is about confirmed facts and hopefully is about unconfirmed facts. Okay. Now I have told you that hopefully and thankfully can be used in the past, present and future. Now let's Take each of these tenses one by one and understand these with examples. Let us first understand the use of hopefully and thankfully in the present tense. Right? Hopefully there isn't a long line at the bank. Okay? So this is the sentence. Hopefully there isn't a long line at the bank. Which means I am not yet at the bank so I don't know if the line is long or not. Right? So in this case you are going to use hopefully because you are not sure. Thankfully there isn't a long line at the bank. Now this means I am at the bank now and I can see that the line is not long. Okay, So that is how you use hopefully and thankfully in the present tense. Okay, Let's move on to the past tense. Hopefully George got home safely last night. Now this means I don't know if he got home safely or not. You are not sure. Okay, Thankfully George got home safely last night. Which means I know for a fact that George is okay. Perhaps he called. He, he called me and confirmed it. So in this case you are sure, in this case you are not sure. Okay, so that is the use of hopefully and thankfully in the past tense. Now let's try and understand the use of these two words in the future tense. Hopefully this project will be finished by the end of the month. Which means I am not sure if it will be finished by the end of the month or not, but I want it to. Right? Thankfully, this project will be finished by the end of the month. Now in this case, the project will definitely be finished by that time. You are 100% sure and you are not sure here. right? So that is hopefully and thankfully in the future and you have already studied how to use this in the present and the past tense. So friends, now that you understand the use of these two words, let's take a quick quiz. I am going to give you 9 questions and you need to complete the sentence by, use it, by using the word hopefully or thankfully. Alright, number 1. Tash, the weather will be nice for our picnic tomorrow. Number two, I was worried about my test results, but dash, I passed all my exams. Number three, dash, Sarah arrived on time for the meeting yesterday. Number four, we don't have the exact details yet, but dash, the event will be held last next month. Number five, the traffic was terrible this morning, but dash, I left early and avoided it. Number six, Tash the new policy will help improve employee satisfaction. Number seven, the plane had a rough landing, but dash everyone on board is safe. Number eight, the project is behind schedule, but dash we can catch up by working extra hours this week. And number nine, dash the package was delivered without any damage. Now friends what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video out here. I want you to note down the answers whether it is hopefully or thankfully. I am going to pause the video for 10 seconds and then we are going to take then we are going to, dis, we are going to discuss the answers of these one by one. Alright, so here is the 10 second pause. Alright, let's discuss the answers. Number one, hopefully the weather will be nice for a picnic tomorrow. Number two, I was worried about my test results but thankfully I passed all my exams. Number three, thankfully Sarah arrived on time for the meeting yesterday. Number four, we don't have the exact details but hopefully the event will be held next month. Number five, the traffic was terrible this morning but thankfully I left early and avoided it. Number six, hopefully the new policy will help improve our employee satisfaction. Number seven, the plane had a rough landing but thankfully everybody on board is safe. Number eight, the project is behind schedule but hopefully we can catch up by working extra hours this week. And number nine, 
Well, friends, I'm not going to disclose the answer to number nine. I want you to post the answer to number nine in the comments below. All right. And let's see who gets it correct. So friends, if you have learned something new in this video, please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel and please do press the bell because I keep coming up with videos like these to help you improve your English language skills. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.